welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. I'm a homeschool mom. I teach my daughter who's in first grade going into second and I teach my nephew. He is four and a half so we're doing pre-k work. Um, today I'm going to be walking through the uh, Becca reading program for second grade. Um, there are 10 reading books for the year. This is one of them. And then here is the answer key. Also we'll be walking through the handbook for reading and so that's what we'll be doing today. If you'd like to stick around, please do so, and I hope to see you in my comments. Okay, so here's the handbook for reading, fourth edition. Just shows the alphabet. A little note to the parents and teachers. Shows the reading program. Contents. And then it starts with the short vowels. So I'm just gonna flip through the page just to kind of give you a look at what you guys would be getting if you guys did the Abeka program. Hopefully I'm not going too fast, but this could be pretty boring if we just go through each page. So I'm gonna flip through. I'm just gonna get to the middle of the book just to kind of give you guys a couple pages to look at. I really like how these books break it down for the kids. It makes it really easy to be able to read. It gives them the tricks of each sound. So here's chart six, seven, and then it's gonna continue. Back. Now that it's almost to the end of the book, In six days God made the world and all that is in it. I love that, how they put those stories in there. More charts. Okay. So that's basically, and then it shows you the charts at the back of the book that you're gonna be using throughout this book. Okay, so that is the handbook for reading. Now, if you go into your reading to answer key, so here we have the handbook for reading answer key. What you would do is once they read the first page, you would ask these questions to them, the second page, so, so on. So this is for the handbook for reading, okay? Okay, so jumping into the first storybook that they're gonna be reading, it's going to be Fun With Friends. You can see in the top left corner where it shows you it's second grade book A. Um, when you start to read, here, let's see here, let's just flip through this real quick. So this is going to be the contents of the book. We're going to start here at page one, okay? Um, so words to practice, talks about the one vowel rule, and then their sight words. Um, let me jump over to this just to explain some of this before we get too far ahead. So, fun with friends answer key. Words to practice is page one. It shows that that is here. Okay, so this is page one that we just talked about. Okay, so page one, it's just going to have a little teacher note for you of what you need to do. Um, it's, it's explaining the one vowel rule. And then what happens is, is when the child continues to read the story, as they're reading, you're going to see in the answer key that here is the first story, Al and Bob, and it's going to be from page two through five. So starting at page two, this is just a little teacher's note for you, what you need to discuss with your child. And then up here it says reading the story, introduce the story. And then you'll see here that it has a question. So at the end of page two, you're going to want to ask where will the race end? And then they need to answer the question. And as you can see, it continues page three, page four, and page five. So as soon as your child is done answering the question from page two, you're gonna have him continue or her continue to page three. When they're done with page three, you're gonna ask page three questions and so on. So you're gonna continue. 
And then at the end of page five, they have questions here also. And that is it for your um, answer key and reading book. Let's just do one more book just in case. So the next book is gonna be Quest for Adventure. Okay, again, you can see second grade, book two, Quest for Adventure. starting here. Um, so this looks like it's going to be a poem. Let me see. Let's get into here. And I usually do not do the reading circles with the class on the video. I do it with my daughter. She will read to me and I will go over the questions with her. I feel like it works out better that way. She could go at her pace. Um, I really like doing it this way and it gives us one-on-one -on -one time doing it together. So um, we see here, again, it shows the book introduction, okay? So it is a poem. So this is going to be a poem, okay? So they're gonna read the poem and then here is questions that you can ask them. And then it shows here, page one, illustration, observation. So call attention to the map, have child name objects placed on top of the map. So you just have them do this, it's to get their minds working, for them to pay more attention to what they're reading. Um, and then here you're gonna see words to practice, page two. So we're gonna skip on to page two. Here are their words to practice. Make sure that they read those out loud to you. So they're gonna start reading this page here, parts of a story, it's gonna explain the plot. So they're starting to get into the breakdown of how the book is laid out. So you can see here in our answer key book that it says parts of a story, have a child read description of plot at the bottom of the page. Point out the open book at the top of the page. What do you see in the open book? Okay, so that you're just asking questions again. And then it starts to explain the beginning of the book and in the middle of the book, tell child to think of his own ending to the story, possible ending. So they're starting to explain um, how a story works, that there's a plot to the story, that there's a beginning, middle, and end to a story. Okay, so we're gonna move on. Okay, so they're gonna start reading the story here and continue on to page five, okay? So you see here on page five, character theme, briefly discuss theme application, and vocabulary enrichment. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to a little bit for nine. You're gonna see here on page eight that there's a question you need to ask. So when they are done reading page eight, you're just gonna go over this question, make sure they answer it correctly. And then same thing with page nine. Here are the questions for that. So that is reading. So that is it for reading two. I hope that this was helpful for you and I hope that you liked being able to see what was inside of these books just to get a glance before you guys make your decision on the curriculum that you guys have chosen. Be blessed always.